All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We are back, back, back in Daddy's kitchen with a remix because Mommy's in the kitchen today too. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mommy. Oh, you guys are so cute. Look at the smile on her. Hi, Mommy. How are you doing today? I'm awesome. And how are you doing today, Daddy? Great. Okay, so we are not even going to waste any time. We're going to get straight in to it because if mommy's in the kitchen, what does that mean? We're making something, right? We're making something special that daddy might not be the best at because, oh, look at his face. <laughs> look at his face because she's just a little bit better at this one. So tell the people then where we are cooked today. Cornmeal porridge. <laughs> you were waiting for him to say it. <laughs> cornmeal porridge, porridge, you guys. Cornmeal porridge in the house today. All right, so we're not going to waste any more time. Mommy, let's get right into it. What do we have to do to start? Okay, so to begin um, cooking the porridge, I put on some water and I bring it to a boil. Okay. okay, so the water is boiling right now. It's about maybe um, three quarter liter of water for this pot. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm gonna be putting in a little bit of salt. Okay. Into what, the water. What kind of salt is this? And this is sea salt. Sea salt. Sea okay. salt. So I'll be putting in a little bit of salt. Yeah. Into the water. Maybe about um, half a teaspoon or so. Okay. 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 All right. Half a teaspoon about. Yeah, just about. Okay. Okay. And it's just to let it have um, some flavor. Okay. Okay. I will be putting in some cinnamon sticks. Okay. Cinnamon sticks. So where can they get these cinnamon sticks from? These cinnamon sticks are bought at the West Indian store. Okay. Um, sometimes the Asian store. Sometimes okay. you'll see them in the supermarket also. Okay. Okay. All right. All All right. right. So I'll be putting these into the water, the boiling water. Two sticks Here. inside Two the sticks. water, yeah. yeah. And then I will be putting in, I'll be grating some nutmeg. Nutmeg. Okay. I'll be grating some nutmeg. Okay. Into the, the water. Okay. So you gotta get yourself a little grater, you guys. You see Just that? Just a grater, and I'm gonna be gratering some, maybe about a teaspoon or so, of nutmeg. Into the water. Into the water. Because okay. the aim is so that we get this a nice flavor into the porridge, okay? Okay. okay. Look at it, turning off nutmeg, you guys. Okay, so okay. that part is there. I will also be putting in some vanilla in the water. Benjamin's vanilla, that is. Yeah, so I have a measuring spoon here and I'm gonna be using maybe a, uh, uh, um, I would say, say two teaspoons. Two teaspoons? Uh, this is a measuring for okay. the two teaspoons. Okay. So I will be putting two teaspoons of vanilla, Benjamin's vanilla. Okay. okay, every Jamaican house has Benjamin vanilla, hopefully. <laughs> okay. So you already know, if you yeah. don't have it, you know what you gotta do. All right, so I pour that into the water. Okay. Okay. And the objective, the objective is to make sure that your porridge is flavorful. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Next, this is the cornmeal. We have two different um, consistency of cornmeal. This is the finer cornmeal. Okay. The finer one. I don't have much of this today. This is the fine, and the, it's sold by Grace, but there are many other companies that sell um, this cornmeal. Okay. Okay, new right. pack, different different brands. Okay. okay. And this is, this is the coarser, the coarser one. I have more of this, so I'll be using this one. Okay. okay? So this is new pack brand and it's yellow cornmeal. Okay. okay. All right. I will be also um, using some coconut milk in it. Okay. Maybe um, about half of this can for this pot okay. that I have. All right. Okay. So Daddy will be opening this so that we can pour it in. All okay. All right. <laughs> and, okay. Okay. So I'll All be right. measuring 
I'll be measuring the amount of cornmeal that I'm gonna be using for this pot. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll put it in the measuring cup, so you have a, an idea of how much to of use. how much to use. All right. Okay. So. All right. So I will be. I'm gonna go up to maybe about two cups of it. Okay. Two cups. Two cups. That's about two cups of cornmeal. I'm gonna be pouring it into this bowl here. Okay. Okay. Pouring it in. Okay. And then what what happens now is that I'm gonna add some water to it, some water to it, so that I can mix it up. Okay. And then I'll be pouring it into the main the main pot. Okay. The okay? so another th another um, objective is that. When you're making cornmeal porridge, you have to be careful when you're pouring in the cornmeal that you consistently stir the pot okay. because it gets very lumpy if you don't. Okay. All okay. Right. So the objective is to, as I put the cornmeal in, I must continue uh, to, keep stir. to stir it. Okay, yeah. let's see how you do it. Okay, so I'm gonna get some water in my measuring um, cup here. Okay. And I'm gonna get a spoon and I'll be pouring in the water into the cornmeal. Okay, let me let me see how this is being done. Okay, I'm pouring the water so that I'm mixing it out before I actually put it into the pot. Interesting. Um let's see if we can go with this bowl. But if we can't, then we'll put it in a bigger one. I think we should be able to, able to use this bowl. Okay. Yeah, the amount of water. Okay, so I'm just stirring the dry ingredients so that it becomes wet before we put it into the, um, into the big pot of porridge there. Okay. Yeah. I never knew this was... Okay, so, Daddy, can you come with a big spoon? As I as I pour it in, you can stir. I'm just stir up. Yeah, okay, so I'm... <laughs> you guys, this is so interesting to try and film them both. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, so just keep stirring, keep stirring. Yeah, keep stirring it. Here, Daddy. It's the wedding gift if you do. How the car Just keep on stirring because we don't want any lumps in it. Okay. I'm just gonna, I just rinsed out the bowl here. Yeah. Keep on stirring. And the, the 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 heat is on what at this whole time? Um, the heat oh. is actually on high right now. Okay. Because okay. it's boiled. It yeah. Put to a boil. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now I, you're coming in with yeah. The I have the coconut milk, and I'm gonna be pouring half of this can into this um the spot here. So half of it. Okay. Now is to keep stirring this. Keep Daddy's job is to keep stirring this so that he has this really nice porridge consistency without lumps. Because I really don't like porridge when it has lumps. Okay. No. So as best as you can, you stir it, stir it consistently until it comes to a boil. Then you don't have to keep uh, keep stirring it. Okay. So when it comes to a boil, then you won't get any more any lumps in it. See that? Okay. Interesting. I already thought it was out of well. Well, the water boiled initially, but then we pour the cornmeal and cold water in it. Mm -hmm. So the water is now stopped boiling because okay. it's half cold and half hot. Okay. Right. So now we have to bring the cornmeal the back, once, to, the back to a boil. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, so you start he's stirring stir he's, until, yeah, that until he start, sees it start bo um, boiling, then he can stop stirring. Okay. Okay. Uno here. Good job, man. Yeah. <laughs> Technique. All right. Guys, if you're a porridge lover, 
You better be paying close attention. See, see, people? You're getting thick right there. Getting thicker than a snicker. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you want to see. Look at that. No lumps. See that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I have to keep on stirring. Stir it up. <laughs> little, little darling, stir it up. Okay, I can. <laughs> I can not. Oh, my so God. Come on, bud. You guys are funny. Cornmeal. Cornmeal porridge. One of my favorite growing up as a child. Yeah, my sister Sheila makes the best cornmeal porridge. Shout out to Mama yeah, Sheila. Yeah, shout out to Mama Sheila, the best cornmeal porridge lady. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> wow, look how thick it's getting, you guys. Mm -hmm. Right in front of your eyes. Yep. It's getting thick. It's making strong like a lion. Yeah, even back home before we go to school, they would give us a bowl of cornmeal porridge in the morning before we go to school, and maybe a piece of hard old bread and stuff like that, and that will keep us like for a long time, you know, until we have lunch and stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. So a lot of parents back home give their children porridge to go to school, mm -hmm. you know, and. Uh, and no. don't a lot of people give their babies porridge too? Like? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people, uh, when the baby comes to a certain um, month or, you know, at least maybe six months or three to six months, they start giving them um, porridge, but they make it really, really thin. Mm -hmm. And then they prop, they sweeten it maybe with the formula and stuff. They use the really, really, really fine cornmeal for the babies. Okay. Yeah, okay. and the babies get really it's coming, strong. It's come to a boil now. Oh, yeah. can I see that? So you got to turn it, you got to have to turn it Yeah, down. yeah. So it comes to a okay. boil, so yeah. we turn it down to a medium level. You okay. don't want this thing to pop on your skin. Yeah, because oh it really gets hot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not... What we're gonna do now, we're gonna let the cornmeal and the coconut milk stay for at least 50. Ooh, see? Ooh, see? Oh, see? Did that. Oh, did that. <laughs> yeah, the, let the cornmeal, let the cornmeal um stays there for maybe about um at least um 15 to half an hour or 15 to 20 minutes, maybe. Okay. Yeah, and let it cook cook properly and then so that so you pull so as soon as it got to boiling point again mm -hmm. you put it down on medium right I put it down on medium so now you're going to cover it yes i cover it so that it doesn't uh, prop all over on you not completely but with a little bit of yeah just a little bit open that it doesn't boil over and then you're gonna let it cook for 15 to 20, 20 minutes. minutes yes okay yes and then i'm gonna add the other things that i need to add i i i'm gonna put some supplegen in it again okay okay and then i'm gonna put the eagle brand um condensed milk okay. and some um carnation milk all right okay really all right yeah okay well okay. let's let it cook yeah and i probably will add a little bit more vanilla to taste and see how we go from there all right okay well, let right. us give it it's 15 minutes okay low fire all right, so what do we have going on, Mommy? Yeah. Mommy okay. just called me back yeah. to the stove. Yeah, so you see the consistency that it, it has gotten to? It's very thick, very thick. You probably, some people like it this thick, but I'm gonna put some carnation milk and let it cook down, cook down in, in it um, properly and so that it, gun, it comes to a, a little bit thinner. Okay. A little bit thinner. So, guys, this is before the 15 minutes was over. Yeah. Um, so, I'm pouring some carnation milk in it. Okay. Yeah. Because, as you can see, it's really thick. Okay. And, it, and it's on me, um, low heat right now. Low heat. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want it to um, burn in the bottom of the pot. Okay. Okay, so you keep it on low heat. Give me this up, and let me just pour it in it. And make it just cook down in it. Okay. Yeah. So is this a change of heart? Because before you said yeah. 15 minutes that it cooked, but yeah, yeah. But because it, uh, I, I found that it got really thick, right? Fast. I don't want it to burn or anything, so I want to add some more liquid so that it can... Um, cook down um properly okay okay all right and then we're gonna give it a, maybe another you know give it the 15 okay yeah 
So here we go. I'm gonna Supple pour some supplegen in there. Okay. I just want the liquid so that it doesn't burn. Yeah, burn at the bottom and remain too thick. Yeah. Supplegen is so good, guys. <laughs> Mm. So see, we have a better consistency there now, okay? Mm -hmm. So now it's gonna be on low heat and it's gonna stay there and make sure the cornmeal and the coconut milk cook into it. Yeah, into it. Okay. Okay, so low heat now. Leave it for at least 15 minutes. All right, low heat, 15 minutes, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, and catch, kind of catch the pot cover like this because you don't want it to boil over. You hear what she said? She said, catch the pot cover. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you who don't know what she means, she means that. That little people there, just catch it by the side, okay? All right, so. So we are at our 15 minute check. Okay. Okay, all right. So look at that porridge. Oh my goodness. Ooh, nice. Mmm. <laughs> look at it. Yummy. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Yummy. Yeah. Oh, I left the cinnamon in there. See the cinnamon sticks? Wow. Guys. That's real porridge. Okay. Real porridge. Oh my goodness. So now I think it's cooked. Mm. Yeah, looks, yeah, the cornmeal. Yeah, you can see it. Because the, it's the thicker cornmeal, so, you know, the consistency is a little bit different from the really fine one. Okay. But it's well cooked. My mom makes some great porridge, you guys. So yeah. if you're paying attention to this to a tea, your porridge is going to be turned up. Okay. Yeah. And um, it's not necessarily that you have to put the supplegen in it. Um, cornmeal porridge doesn't you don't have to add you don't have to add coconut milk you don't have to add supplegen in it if you 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 don't want to you just do it how you um, like it and for uh, you know for your family yeah. okay but well, we like the richness yeah because mm -hmm. we we don't eat this every day mm -hmm. so when we do it we just do it we just go all the way okay <laughs> yeah we do it up yeah okay all right. Okay, that, you guys. so now I'm going to be sweetening it with the condensed milk. Okay. Okay. My favorite And then we'll, we'll, be, we'll be having our taste time. This is our taste time. Okay. 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 Yeah. Taste time reach. Mommy does taste times on her episodes. Okay. Okay. So I'm just, I will be turning off the fire now. So it's going to be off so that I can sweeten the um with the oh, condensed milk okay yeah. so does so it go back on off? at any point no no interesting yeah the fire will be off now okay so here is our eagle brand condensed milk eagle brand i prefer this brand because um i think they it, it, the porridge tastes better with this one okay um there's other brands but i just really like this one okay okay all right so here we go we're just gonna be sweetening it up. See that, y'all? Really nice. Okay, this is a big pot of porridge, so we might need a little bit more. The then reason the why I don't put um, sugar in it, sometimes when I put the sugar in it, I find the porridge becomes really watery. So that's why I sometimes stay away from the sugar. Okay. Okay, because, yeah. So when I find when I put the milk alone, it, it, it doesn't come watery. Okay. Okay. I prefer the sweet milk anyway. Yeah. Delicious. Okay, so it's all stirred in there. Stir, 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 y'all. 
okay. we don't, I don't think we have any hard dough bread, but you guys should have had yes. hard dough bread. With yeah, you. Daddy says we have some hard dough bread in our in our um in our fridge. Ooh. But um, generally they give you give this a bowl of this with some hard dough bread. Some people um break up the hard dough bread into the porridge and that, eat it like that. It's really way. good like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You can use crackers. Too. Yeah, and some people use crackers. Yeah. The hard crackers, the, the, the Jamaican crackers. Water okay. crackers. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to try tasting it and see where we are at. Okay. okay. How about letting Daddy taste it <laughs> and let's see what he will say. Oh, Here you go. <laughs> it's so extra, I can't. <laughs> oh, <the> mercy. <laughs> Uh, you too, it's hot, very hot, so be careful. Take your time. Please, cool this before you put it in your mouth. Yes. Please. So blow it, please. Yeah. yeah. This thing will stick to your mouth. Yeah. Why is it now? <laughs> <laughs> spit out everything. Mm -hmm. If you have the time to spit it out, it's so hot. Okay. Here. Okay. Okay. They said that he have a sweet tooth. <laughs> it's so mommy in the back. So serious. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> to see I, 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 I'm watching him to see what he's going to say. <laughs> you know? How much more milk do we have to put in? <laughs> Need more milk. Need more milk. Well, Sweet we milk. knew we knew that that milk yeah, was going to be. We knew. Like that. We knew. So I'm going to grab another. I'm going to go grab another milk from the pantry. Okay. There's a little this one. You can finish this. One. So it seems yeah. like we need a, about a half can. Yeah. 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 More. So wash off the top of that. Yeah. Okay, so I have some still in this. Um, can I borrow a spoon here? Yeah. I have some. Oh, something on your shirt. Mm. I have some more here into the can the first can so i'm just gonna sc scrape that out scrape her on out yeah no wasting you guys just scrape it out this is one of my favorite porridge i feel like it's yeah. a common porridge i feel like yeah. so many of you guys have asked for cornmeal porridge when we when you did how many corn there was a lot of people who that was their first time ever even coming across it um but cornmeal porridge this one is definitely the one that people have yeah it's a, it's really actually a, a jamaican staple it, um back home for the children it, um in i think everybody's house yeah yeah not just for children. For yeah, well, children and adults. But, you know, a lot of people make it for their children to go to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is the second one. Okay, so I'm just going to probably use maybe half of this can. Okay. And we're going to stir it up again. You know what to do, you yeah. guys. You know what to do. Stir it up, stir it up nicely. Okay, so we need another spoon so that we can taste again. Fresh spoon, daddy. I'm gonna taste it this time. Okay, let's okay. see how you feel. See how you're feeling, mommy. Yeah, you're supposed to taste it now. Are you already sure? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit more um, nutmeg okay. in it. Just great. Some more nutmeg. Some more nutmeg. So this is the part she was talking about when she says you can add and season to your liking, right? If she wants it a little more nutmeggy. Nutmeg really brings out the flavor. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more, um, maybe ha um, one teaspoon of vanilla again in there. Okay. Nice. And I think that is our porridge. Oh my 
god. Yeah. It is so good. So good. I know it's gonna be good, especially yeah. with your hard bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys, look at that. Look at the consistency. I wish you could smell it. I wish you could Ooh, taste it. Look at oh that. My God, look at that. Look at that. How beautiful. Daddy got it again. Daddy stop tea pot the porridge. Tea pot the porridge. <laughs> okay, I'll finish all of that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. So pretty. The consistency is perfect. Mm. Yummy. It just makes my taste buds water. <laughs> Wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow, I'm really proud of myself. This is a really good porridge. Oh yeah. Mommy, very yes. nice. You very, definitely very do nice. need a pat on the back. Mommy. Very nice. You snap. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. You mash up yeah? the tea. You need a kiss when you live. Oh. Mommy's <laughs> like, okay, extra. <laughs> yep. Oh. oh my god. Thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Wow. Let's plate her up, shall yeah. we? So, Daddy, you can plate it up and put a piece of hard old bread or you can have it with whatever you want. If you want a toast or whatever you want, some some Jamaican crackers because we have some Jamaican crackers. Some people use this. Eat some of this. Sorry, upside down. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the hard old bread. You can yeah, get the hard old bread. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to mommy's hair looking cute. Yep. Natural yeah. queen. Natural queen. Shout out to my my sister, sister Keisha, who does all the natural hair. Yes. Yeah, she does my hair really well. Yeah, she treats my hair and she twists it. Yeah, she's really good at that. Beautiful. Keisha. So at Coif Hair Care. Okay. Okay. Shout out to Keisha. All right. Yeah. So this is um, hard old bread. Yeah. This is Ralph's hard old bread. So you can have a bowl of it with a slice of bread, mm -hmm. you know, a slice or two, or break it up in the porridge. Mm -hmm. It's really good. All right. Okay. We ready. All right. Peace and love always. always.